didn't have a mean streak in his body. He woke up smiling. Tonight, family and friends are remembering the victim of a hit and run crash over the weekend. Good evening. Brandon Mallory was struck and killed at the corner of Broadway and Gatchel in Buffalo. Family and friends met at the crash site tonight. News Force Callan Gray was with them. Callan? Don Jackie, the whole block was packed with people looking to pay their respects to his family and share memories. More than a dozen family members spoke, each with a personal story of how he changed their life for the better. And Lord, we're asking for healing. God, there's no way you can replace what was taken. Searching for healing and holding on to one another, Brandon Mallory's family stood on the corner where he was killed in a hit and run early Sunday morning. I just don't understand how I could take him from me. <laughs> Mallory was engaged heading home to his pregnant fiance when Buffalo police say an SUV hit him as he crossed the road at the intersection of Broadway and Gatchel. Mallory died from his injuries. He just had big dreams and that was cut short. And it's just cut so short and it, it is not fair, you know, for somebody to be so cowardly. His mother says he didn't have a mean bone in his body. The 31 year old had started a career as a truck driver, and she says he worked hard to provide for the people he loved. He touched everybody, everybody. He was so loved. He had a million dollar smile. Good work ethic. Always, always thought of family first. As they mourn his loss, they ask the driver to come forward. It's just tragic. I just hope they, we could get some, you know, something, something to happen where they can find this guy. Maybe he'll turn himself in. Maybe he have a good heart. I don't know. We're just going to pray about it. That's all we can do. One, two, I love my son, and he would never, never be forgotten. Buffalo police have the SUV they believe hit Mallory in custody. This is the fourth hit and run in Buffalo since May. A spokesperson tells us tonight accident investigators are working nonstop on all of these cases. Reporting live in studio, Callan Gray, News 4.